Hi Virgo, this is Lex. I'm here with your August 2019 reading. I have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards here. I will go through them as they came out and then rearrange and clarify as necessary, all right? Please like and comment if any of it resonates with you. If it does not, you may want to check your moon rising and Venus sign. Also subscribe if you have not already and to book personal readings, there is a link in the description below, okay? So first I have Knight of Water. Awakening, Six of Fire, Seven of Air, The World, and Eight of Air. All right, Virgos, whatever's going on with you, it's got you stuck, it's got you entrapped. But I feel like it's a false sense of entrapment. You may just be um, trapped in your mind. Um, excuse me. Um, lack of self-confidence, temporary standstill. Is in, it, it's, it is important to be yourself at this moment. Okay. Don't feel that you have to put on a front or facade or a mask in order to get out of the situation. That's what I'm getting on that one. The need to, to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Good news is on the way. Path toward enlightenment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plans need revision. More going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. This is why I feel like you're at this standstill. The timing ain't right. Or your plan needs tweaking. Okay. Let's clarify these for you, Virgo. By the end of this month, you'll definitely um, have a, a revelation that's going to get you out of this, in, this energy that you're in right now. Yeah, you're going to be over it. You're going to be able to, to rest, lay whatever this issue is that got you stuck and that's got you tangled and, and not moving forward. You're going to lay this to rest by the end of the month because there's new offers coming in. Um Cups is emotional. You may be dealing with um, with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But whatever is coming in is definitely good news, whatever this offer is. This could also be your energy, Virgo, if you have water in your chart. Okay. Need to balance your emotions. I just saw, I just said that. Temperance. Yeah, okay. So this is what this is what this um night of water is. You need to balance your emotions. This is your energy that you're in right now. All this over here has got you messed up. And you need to balance your emotions. Um it's double energy. It's got you obsessing over it. Okay, so we can get one more clarifier here. You're obsessing over the end result. Or possibly over a potential soulmate. Again, this is cups. Water energy. All right. So if you got a, a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer in your life, you y'all got a connection that I feel goes beyond the surface. Like it may have started out physical, and that's what got you hooked or, or hooked in with them. But the more you get to know this person, or it could be you, the more you get to know yourself. However it resonates with you, just take it how it, it fits. And if it doesn't, don't try to make it fit, okay, baby? Uh, the more you get to know yourself and dig deeper into either yourself or this person, the more depth you see. That's water signs. They, water runs deep feel like it's a Scorpio. Scorpio definitely has depths and mis mystery to them that you're going to have to uncover as you get to know them, okay? So for your 
Uh, romance oracles. I have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what I was just touching on. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, but they won't be for long. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, so this, what didn't seem like it was going to amount to much, Virgo is what I'm getting, it has turned into something. Let's see if we can get some clarifiers here. Like everything's tying in. I feel like your partner is going to help you with this, uh, this stagnant energy. Yeah, you need to balance your work. Work-life balance is what I'm getting here. And I got... We got the world and we got the will of fortune on the table. All right. Give it a chance. It may didn't seem like much to begin with, but you're, you're feeling all these warm, fuzzy, romantic feelings. Okay. Give it a chance. Fortune's on your side with this Virgo. Okay. So we're going to pull an overall um, Archangel Oracle. To tie everything in for you. And again, like I said, this take take these messages how they resonate with you. It's not always a love interest as far as this what's going on up here, but I do feel that you have someone that's very close to you that um may not have seemed like it was going to be a love interest or maybe even a friendship, just maybe somebody that you met in passing that you thought was just, no, okay, they're they're all right, but they turned out to be more. So keep your eye on those people. Okay. For you, I have breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awake your energy and to release old patterns. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. And healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthy diet. Get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Rest your mind and fuel your body. Take care of your body. Nurture yourself, okay? So, Virgos, this is your August 2019 reading. Please like or comment if any of this resonates with you. If it does not, you may want to check your moon rising or Venus sign. Please uh, subscribe if you have not already. And if you like to book personal readings, there is a link in the description below, okay? Take care.